Okay, in the previous video for installation of prerequisites, I showed you how to install Hyper. Downloading Hyper, copying it from your Windows Downloads folder to your Ubuntu Home folder using dot slash configure to give it the location where this will be installed. And then finally, make all and sudo make install. So after you finished sudo make install, uh, once it completes, you get this line installing hyper mkdr minus p slash usr local hyper lib usr local hyper include. So if you get anything other than this, then there has been a problem. Anything other than this, there has been a problem. So here, this is correct, no problem. So we will go on, proceed to add these two locations mentioned here, USR local hyper lib and USR local hyper include to your path. If you remember from one of uh, my previous videos, eco dollar path shows you the location of all the things that the system knows uh, where they exist. And obviously here, uh, the system doesn't know USR local hyper include or USR local hyper lib because we just installed it. So how do we do that? We use something called the export command. So we export it to the file that holds all these uh, path information. So I just type cd to go to my home folder and I press clear to remove all the mess. So ls, so I'm in my home folder, you see pwd, I'm in my home folder. Uh, and ls minus a. So that shows me also the hidden files. All the files that start with a dot are hidden files. So as you can see here, I have dot bash history, dot bash logout, not very important. What is important for us is dot bash rc and dot bash profile, but most importantly, dot bash rc. There are two ways to do this. One is by opening the file and writing your path yourself or by a command. I will take the second option because that's easier to do, uh, at least in a video. So type the command echo and open a quote, a single quote, export, path equals slash USR local hyper lib. This was one of the paths that we wanted to add. And the second one, slash USR local hyper include. So these are the two paths that we wanted to add to our uh, eco dollar path uh, call and then end it with dollar path. What this is basically saying is it's exporting the two paths. The colon sign is just uh, like an and in English. So export path slash user local hyperlib and user local hyper include and attach the rest of the path which already exists after this line. So that's what we're doing there. So once we write that, we close that code and then send it by using two greater than sign to slash home slash dot slash rc. Let's see if that works. So this is how it's supposed to be. Enter. Permission denied. So I apparently don't have the permission to change this let's see if i can fix this that would mean that okay here was my problem so i got a permission denied and that's good uh, that it's uh, that i get this so probably you would also get this so anyway here's the solution uh, the problem was just saying slash home slash dot slash rc so instead of that uh, all you need to do is uh, type in the tilde, if you see that uh, character there, it's a tilde. So greater than, greater than, space, tilde, which actually stands for home, and slash dot bash rc. So, and then there's no permission problem. A little strange that two similar locations, and in one way, you get a permission problem. Hmm. Anyway, how to get the tilde? On several keyboards, it's just uh, holding in alt gr and entering the last key on the second row of the keyboard that's where it 